in a way wins in a way wins had to be up at six o'clock in the morning for this lightweight but he wins uh he got dropped but he recovered he got his victory i don't trust him in a room with mike tyson mike tyson looks like he might do something funny hit the like button share this video subscribe to the channel lord tank davis is a moron tank davis is an imbecile Tank Davis does this press conference with uh, Frank Martin, the ghost, yada, yada, yada. Tank Davis goes on camera and he's still defending this Ryan Garcia. Why? It makes no sense why. All of a sudden you like this person. You didn't have no care for them a year ago. And they even asked him, uh, Tank, why are you defending Ryan Garcia? And Tank Davis is someone... He should not speak into a microphone. The man is not articulate. He's not a good orator. He's stuttering like Mayweather. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, because uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 Ryan. You know, uh, uh, he stutters like Mayweather. I thought Broner was the only one who did it like Mayweather. Ryan Garcia, the cheat that he is, and Tank Davis is defending him with no logical explanation of why. Only stupid people are going along with something, but they can't actually explain to you why. Because this is the world of people that you're surrounded by. A bunch of illogical, emotional attachment to somebody you didn't even care about six months ago. Tank, Tank Davis is a moron. He's a good boxer. He's fought nobody, but he's a good boxer. And then um, he, he's just doing a series of interviews, but he's like, you're not a good talker. You're not a good speaker. And then people, oh my God. I mean, you talk about a waste of time reading a comment section on YouTube. Oh my Lord. It's just, oh my God, Tank, he's, he's so humble. He's so great. Oh my God. Look at the way his braids are done. I mean, he's so ready for this fight. Look at just the design of his braids. Oh my God. Two snaps and a twist on your black ass. Like, shut up. Now, it, it, it just makes no sense. He, he goes into this whole thing about, uh, you know, if he fought Mayweather, he, it would be a spanking or whatever. Mayweather will never accept a fight with Tank Davis. It, it's never going to happen. You, you can see these two, they're, they're having a lover's quarrel. <laughs> a lover's quarrel <laughs> at that Mayweather boxing gym. Leonard Ellerby, <laughs> his nostrils, his nose still looks like the New Orleans Saints logo. <laughs> Leonard Ellerby's nose looks like the New Orleans Saints logo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, Tank Davis, or maybe his name is Tank Garcia. Because apparently Ryan Garcia is everybody's daddy all of a sudden. It's some weird, it's some real, like, weird attachment to Ryan Garcia that I don't get. Uh... Three weeks ago, uh, two months ago, people didn't have this. Now they have like, this weird... It's just amazing. Do they realize Ryan Garcia is still not a good fighter? He's all right. If he fought Tank Davis again, he would lose worse this time. But 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 no no, you're in a world of people. They they they're prisoners of a moment. Can't even comprehend the damn moment. But a a, a new moment is coming up, and uh, this Tank Davis fight. I, I, I think obviously Tank Davis is uh, the favorite. But uh, once again, this is boxing. And I think the Ghost could... Uh, I think he's definitely going to win some rounds. Um, I, uh, could he upset Tank Davis? Yes. He, he's, he's fought nobody. But he is a good fighter. He is a good fighter, yeah. And uh, even Tank Davis was asked about in a way, which is just an absurd fight. Like, it the, just, you know, obviously the, the, the issue is the weight. You know, in a way, he's, he's, come on, he's one of them Chinamen. He's one of them Japs. You know, it, it's hard for him to get his weight up. And then Tank Davis would have to become, like, anorexic. So this fight will never happen. But um, it, it doesn't really need to because, once again, um, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really need to. Um... I don't think uh, boxing is in some situation where we have to just draw and, and get these get these type of fantasy fights because we need the money. I don't I don't think boxing is struggling in that sense. Um, 
and, and this, this is a bit off topic, but this just ticked me off. Um, in my in my latest uh, boxing video, I was I was talking about Deontay Wilder when I reviewed the Canelo fight versus uh, Mungia. I was mentioning how I went back to go watch some Wilder fights and how he was like a million times better before Malik Scott. I don't know, maybe because he had a real trainer in, in Mark Breland. But that Malik Scott, he has ruined Deontay Wilder. Good Lord. Oh, my God. I'm watching these interviews. Uh, what does he talk? He over talks. Like, no, no, no. Malik Scott, he is horrible. Fire. They fired Darvin Ham. Malik Scott, fire his ass. Hit the like button, man. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. You can donate to the Cash App if you have a video request. If you want to just want to support the channel, it's XDN Online. The link is in the description of this video. But back to Tank Davis. He's on this, like, interview run, and he just sounds so ignorant. And, and when, when he's trying to explain himself, you can tell that he's, like, just on the fly, just rambling. And, of course, these interviewers who are man worshipers who, who don't want to uh, ask the real questions, who don't have a comeback for the stupidity of defending Ryan Garcia, who don't have a comeback for the stupidity that a lot of these boxers spew out because they, oh, I, I, I want to be able to interview you for content for my channel. Content for my channel. I, I'm not a man. I have no standards. I have no morals. I, I can't challenge you because I, I need you to like me. How, how do you... Come on, man. Oh, man. No one's even challenging the stupidity of things that these, these people are saying on camera. Then you have these yes men with Tank Davis. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, if, if, if things was like this, how come the test came out this late? Uh, 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 shut up. And they know better. You're in boxing. It, it, this is an agenda. It's a blind, one-sided agenda. I, I still have yet to hear any, any of these people say, um, why don't you actually, uh, wh wh why are you really defending Ryan Garcia? Because you just sound like you're blindly doing it for no actual reason. It, it sounds like this is a big-ass high school. Well, we don't like this person, but we all of a sudden like this person, so if you don't like who we like, we don't like you. It sounds like a big-ass high school. I, I would love whatever happened to um whatever happened to and, and you know Tank was going on about you know the the one of the interviews asked him uh what about if you fought Shakur what if you fought Arrow what if you fought this person how come the interviewer and Tank Davis never mentioned fighting Terence Crawford Wh whatever happened to that the best boxer in the world Terence Crawford the face of boxing Canelo Alvarez didn't didn't mention none of them I want to see Tank Davis balloon up and face Canelo. <laughs> <laughs> the real face of boxing oh man sometimes i wish boxing was like pride back when like pride, uh, not that rainbow shit but pride fc fighting championship back when like pride would have like a 400 pounder versus like a, a 12 pounder oh i wish sometimes I, sometimes i wish boxing could just do that i i i, <laughs> I want to see i want to see tank versus uh, tyson fury <laughs> oh god Oh, Lord. So, sometimes I just sacrifice the whole weight division thing. I want to see these little munchkins get slaughtered. Okay, I want to see Wilder. First of all, I want to see Wilder in the middle of a fight just turn around and knock out Malik Scott on the apron and take his wife. How did he get that Kate Adobo or Obodo, whatever her name is? How did, how did he get that broad? But I want to see Wilder knock out his trainer. Have we ever seen that in boxing? I want to see that. I want to see Wilder. I want to see Deontay Wilder in the middle of a fight, jump over the top rope like the Royal Rumble, go in the crowd, and knock out Tank Davis. <laughs> Has anybody seen Errol Spence? Is he still? Is he still? <laughs> is he still recovering from that ass whooping that Bud Crawford put on him? Man, I, man, I, I don't know. I might. This, this might turn into a boxing channel because I can't stand this nonsense. Boxing is the most corrupt disgusting business, I guess, outside of Vince McMahon. And with that said, that is it.